My name is Nancy Villaseñor. I am the Park Planning and Partnerships Manager with the City of Long Beach. And we have a wonderful lineup of speakers today. Uh, but before we get to that, I do have a few remarks that I want to make. Now, I don't know Dee Andrews as well as many of you know him uh, that are here today, but I feel like I know a thing or two about him. And I have one distinct memory that I want to share. And this was probably in 2007, 2008, and I was brand new with the city, still trying to get my feel around things. And one day I take the elevator at the old city hall and the doors open and I see this man with a hat and he's <laughs> dressed really sharp. And I'm thinking, wow, if I was a dude, I don't even think I could pull that look off. And I get in the elevator and I say my hellos and it takes me a second because up until then I had only seen a uh, former vice mayor in the council meetings wearing a suit. And being the nervous new city employee that I was, I thought I made a grave error and I should have introduced or should have greeted him as a council mer uh, member. So recognizing my error, I tried to play it off and I said, oh, D. Andrews, you're incognito today. I didn't recognize you. <laughs> And he looks at me and he starts, he, he goes along with it and he starts joking. And for that brief elevator ride, it was nothing but smiles and laughter. And you may not remember that. I don't know that you, that you do, but I remember it because um, there are a few key takeaways. Uh, for one, council members are normal people just like you and I, so calm down. <laughs> But the other t key takeaway for me was that you don't have to know a person well to know their character. And in, those brief, in that brief moment, um, I knew who Dee Andrews was. And he didn't have to talk to me at all if he didn't want to. But he made me feel like I had known him for many years. And it just really speaks to his character. And that's who Dee Andrews is. He is someone of great humility. He's a very grounded individual. And I will never forget that elevator ride. So yes. <laughs> so as a representative of the Long Beach Parks, Recreation and Marine Department and elevator stranger, I would like to say that we're very honored to have this field named after a local hero and fashion icon, Dee Andrews. <laughs> uh, so we will be introducing several speakers uh, today, uh, including you'll be hearing from our mayor and uh, CDC, uh, CD6 and CD8 council representatives. Uh, we will also be hearing from Ron Ellis and Willie McGinnis and D. Andrews himself. Uh, but first, I want to make a few acknowledgments. Uh, we want to make sure we recognize everyone that um, has honored us with their presence today. Uh, so today we have Assembly Member Mike Gibson. We also have Council Member uh, Daryl Supernow. Port Commissioner Steve Neal. We also have Felton Williams, former LBUSD school board member. Our city prosecutor, Doug Halbert, is here today. As is our city manager, Tom Odeka. We also have our uh, chair of our Parks Recreation uh, Commission, uh, David Zanata. Where are you? OK, where is Steve Goodling from Convention and Visitors Bureau? There he is. Uh, OK, and then we have Chief Luna from our Long Beach Police Department. 
Uh, from fire department, we have Battalion Chief Hosea. Where is he? Uh, we have uh, Long Beach Unified School District Board Member Eric Miller. <laughs> Mayor of Signal Hill, Ed Wilson. Representing Assemblymember O'Donnell's office, we have Marisol Barajas. And we have uh, Commissioners uh, Redfield and Haiga from our Parks and Recreation Commission. Thank you. Okay. I will call up our first speaker. Just give me a quick second here. I will not now call up our mayor, Robert Garcia. Well, uh, good morning, everybody. This is a, this is a, a beautiful and, and blessed morning uh, here in Long Beach to, to celebrate and honor, uh, really like a, a Long Beach icon, right? A Long Beach icon, uh, a Long Beach hero, someone that we all love so much. Be before I just say a few words about um, about Vice Mayor Andrews and ab about about Dee, as we know him, I did want to just I know we have a lot of uh, students um, and family from our from one of I think uh, America's best high schools, and I just want to just make sure that we to all the to all the poly athletes and scholars, uh, spirit leaders, just everyone that's here and, and and some of the teachers that are here. Let's give all of our our, our young students a big round of applause. And, and don't ever forget, don't ever forget that when you're wearing that, that poly uniform, uh, you're representing not just your high school, but you're representing the city of Long Beach. And that's really, really important. You're representing Long Beach, and don't ever, don't ever forget that, both on and off the field. So thank you guys for, uh, and, and ladies for, uh, for being here. Uh, I also just want to um, just thank everyone for being here. I see Trustee Zia here. Thank you, Sunny, for, uh, for being here as well. I just want to say, um, I'm really happy to be here. I'm very grateful to be here. I had the pleasure of uh, serving alongside, uh, and he sat you know, next to me for most of our time together, uh, uh, Dee Andrews, uh, who is really um, not just like a sports legend in Long Beach, but everyone knows Dee. Everyone loves Dee. Uh, he has been a, a friend, a supporter, um, someone who is always very quick uh, to tell us and remind us of our history in, in Long Beach. Um, and I want to also just mention that what I really appreciate about D as we celebrate um, this sports complex and name app and name this sports complex um, after him. I want to just also mention that I think D's legacy um, and D's service goes beyond uh, sports. It goes beyond the field. Uh, D has had also uh, and has been very involved in the local civil rights movement in Long Beach. Uh, he has been a good example. Uh, not just as a young black man, but as a uh, elder uh, black leader in our community to people, to folks like me, and to so many of us uh, with, within the, within this community, about what uh, respect and dignity uh, and leading with with love and compassion really looks like. Um, and he served uh, and also made history on our city council. And so, for all of those things, uh, this is just another a, a great way of honoring uh, D. Andrews' service and legacy to uh, to the city of Long Beach. The, the D. Andrews Sports Complex is also going to be a great place where, uh, where D. is going to be able to witness and see uh, something he loves so much, which is uh, young men and women playing uh, on the field, uh, the games that they love, and practicing the sportsmanship that was so important to him uh, as, a, as a young man. And D's broken a lot of records, as we all know, uh, here in, in sports. Um, and this is just another way of adding to that legacy. So I'm just happy to be here, D. You know I love you, man. Uh, you're a great mentor and a friend. Uh, I always have your back. You've always had my back. And, uh, and let's, give, let's give Vice Mayor Andrews a big round of applause as we continue to celebrate him uh, today. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. And thank you for acknowledging Trustee Zia. If I've left anyone off, please come tap me on the shoulder. We want to make sure we acknowledge everyone. Uh, we do have someone who uh, has to make an exit. So I would next like to, uh, before he, he leaves, I would like to call up uh, Assembly Member Gibson to present a certificate to D.
First of all, let me say good morning to each and every one of you. Um, I'm excited about today. Um, it's not every day that a community comes together and support a great man. It's not every day that a community comes together to show their love and their appreciation and recognize his great, tremendous leadership. And I'm happy today because the blood that runs through my veins runs through D. Andrews' veins. We're cousins. Real cousins. <laughs> and, <I'm, laughs> and we never told people that uh, because you can really identify who your real friends are when you get in a group and hear what they say about you. I was on the Carson City Council. He calls me a cousin. You know so-and-so, don't trust so-and-so. They talking about you. And I would, do this, I would do the same thing because we kept it under wraps. Um, this is the very first time that we're, re I'm revealing that we're cousins. And I'm happy. I'm happy for the simple fact because uh, this city council and all of you chose to want to honor uh, my family, my blood, my cousin, who really put his heart and soul into this, into the city of Long Beach. Uh, we've had family members um, settled right here in the city of Long Beach who's gone on. But I'm happy to say that they're smiling from heaven, and it's a glorious day because um, you've named this park after him. It gives me great pleasure also to present this certificate of recognition presented to the Honorable, let me say that again, the Honorable, D. Andrews, dedicated um, sports complex here in the city of Long Beach. On behalf of the California State Assembly, in honor of your service and your long um, commitment to the residents of the city of, of Long Beach, congratulations on all that you do. And we know that the best is yet to come for my cousin, D. Andrews. So can you just give it up for him one more time? Oh, come on, you can do better than that. This is my cousin, and I appreciate him. Thank you so much. We're keeping it in the family today. Okay. I would not, uh, next uh, like to call up uh, Dr. Suli Saro, who represents our uh, District 6. Right. Please come on up. Good morning, everybody. It's a great day, isn't it? So I want to just start out by thanking my, uh, the mayor and the council colleague for ushering this forward and uh, want to thank the commissioners from Parks and Recs and uh, in, in their process um, so that we're here today. Um, first, I want to actually extend my thanks to the Chittick family for sharing the honor of adding the D. Andrews Sports Complex at Chittick Field. Uh, we continue to honor Mr. Chittick, Brian Chittick, for his advocacy to use what was known as Hamilton Bowl for recreational purposes, particularly softball. And today we honor Dee for his work to transform the dust ball, as we all know it, um, as Hamilton Bowl to the sports complex, right? This amazing space with our football field, our all-weather track, and three soccer field restrooms, and this parking space, and lighting it every night. Every time I drive by, it's being used constantly. So that is one of the great contributions that the, our former vice mayor has done uh, for this district. And it continues to be a large uh, open green space uh, for the many people in the central area that has very little space to recreate in. And you know, a place really has no meaning without its history and the people who have uh, made it uh, to what it is. And that's really what Dee's done. He's, it's honoring his history as a sports um, athlete and uh, legend, as well as transforming this, this feel into what it is. And also his over 12 years of uh, contribution um, to the city of Long Beach, particularly many of the young people, many of our residents um, in the past over 12 years. And so he will not only be remembered for all of that, um, but also his sports contribution, as everybody knows. Um, so he's not only um, part of Long Beach history now, and I want to make sure he's specifically now part of our black Long Beach history, right, that we want to honor and that we want to remember and that we want to make sure we continue the process of educating our local residents and our youth about the rich history and the gems that we have in this district. 
um, and continue to build the pride that of the 6th District. So with that said, um, I congratulate uh, Vice Mayor D. Andrews on today's dedication and really proud that we can be here today uh, to do that. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Councilwoman Saro, for those words. Uh, just give me a second here. I would next like to call up uh, Council Member Al Austin from our District 8. Thank you so much uh, for that uh, warm welcome. Good morning, everyone. How are we doing today? If you love Long Beach, please make a little bit of noise. If you love D. Andrews, make some noise. All right. We are here to uh, honor a, a legend in our, our community, a living legend. And uh, I am um, really, really honored to have uh, served on the city council with him for two terms. Um, little do many people know, the, the very first foray into public service, elected office, was, was uh, not so successful for me. Um, I ran for this wonderful 6th District office, and, um, you know, at the time, the victor was uh, D. Andrews. <laughs> 42 votes. <laughs> you know, we have long memories about those numbers, man. <laughs> and and um, o over the years, uh, I've, I've learned to, to, um, to, to, to love and respect and, and really understand what D. Andrews means to this community, right? Um, when you look out in this crowd, you see the diversity. You see, um, you, you understand uh, the, the, the real heartfelt impact that he's had on his community, his city. Uh, and then you know the history. You understand the history. He was the first black ASB president uh, at, at Poly High School. I want to make sure that the football players hear that. He was a star athlete um, at, at, at Poly High School. And you're going to hear a lot about Poly High School because today D is so proud of Poly High School and everything that's done. And so I'm so glad to see that the cheerleaders are here, the football team is here, the support from his beloved Poly High School is here. Um, he went on to, to, to do some amazing things uh, at, at Long Beach City College, at Cal State Long Beach. Then I think one of the first uh, to actually go into the NFL from Poly High School. That's historic. We have named so many different monuments and parks in the city after great people, but few have had and touched the accomplishments that D. Andrews has accomplished in this city. And so I want to make sure that we, we, we recognize that. <laughs> Mayor Garcia pointed out that, yes, he's more than an athlete. He's more than a... Um, uh, a, a legend at Poly High School. He went on to um, do great things in, in civic life as well, um, as a community leader, a, as a public elected official as well. Um, and this piece right here is among his signature legacy work. Um, here, the work, this sports complex that we are naming after him today. And so it was a real honor for me to, to lead the item um, to bring it forward. Um, and I told Dee a few years ago when we opened Chittick Field, and I believe Willie McGinnis was here, we were all standing around, Snoop was here, we said, hey, you know, at some point, in some point in the future, we need to recognize this accomplishment appropriately and name this for Dee Andrews. And he was serving on the city council at the time, and so that would have looked a little awkward and wouldn't, wouldn't have worked. But as soon as we realized that, you know, he would be moving on off the city council, we moved this, and, and we, it was unanimously supported by the entire city council. There was no equivocation whatsoever on the council whether or not we were going to do this. And I think that's just a testament to who he is, recognizing and respecting that his work, um, but also the support and love that he has, has amongst his city council colleagues and his city family as a whole. I think there's another piece that, that needs to be also uplifted. You know, D is a man, right? And he's a, not a perfect man. He, he 
will tell you that himself, that he's had his, his peaks, he's also had his valleys. And he has a spirit of a champion in many respects, <laughs> completely. Champions fall and get up. Champions know how to lose and come back. And D. Andrews, I think, exemplifies that more than anybody that I know. And so it was an honor to bring this forward. And it's more of an honor to see his grandchildren, his children, his daughter, his, his, his daughters, his, his grandchildren here to, to witness this and for him to see this himself, to see the, 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 the support that he has for this community and to smell his roses today. So uh, I want to thank everybody who had any part in making this happen. Thank you very much. Please bear with me. I am next very excited to introduce former New England Patriot and Long Beach High School alum, Willie McGinnis. Sorry guys, um, I popped in the way I did. My daughter is at her recruiting trip at SC, so we was all up there. Um, thank you, we was all up there, and uh, I didn't think I was gonna make it, but I said I had to, because of how special D is. First, I wanna recognize um, all the people out here in the community that really put forth the effort to represent Long Beach and to help our community and help our kids. Um, the coaches that are here, the police department, fire department, people on city council, um, all the influential people that do all the things they do behind the scenes for these kids, parks and recs. Every, I see so many faces out here, uh, people that I grew up that was always there, help mentoring and finding a home and helping these kids get off the street and to find them do something um, with them lives and try to help them point them in the right direction. I see some of the guys from the football team there. Hopefully you guys being here understand that this is bigger than football. And football is just a small part of your lives of who you can be and what you need to turn into and how you need to give back and what you are. So developing life skills, giving back and coming back to your community and teaching those what you taught, what you learned while you was here and passing it down and coming back is super important. So when you're from Long Beach, just understand you never leave Long Beach. All right, fellas? Yeah. Vince, see my family out here, everybody's family. Um, of course, Rob, granddaughters, daughters, families, nieces, my nieces, congratulations. Now I'm going to get to D. <laughs> <laughs> D ain't never a loss for words. D will speak his mind no matter what it is or what's going on. The one thing I can say about D, though, is whenever I have called him about anything, when it came to the kids and to community, he was right there. And he went and he dipped into his resources. He did whatever he could. And the same with me. Whenever he needs something, he was, <laughs> he was on the phone like, Willie, I need you right now. And we was there. I remember when this field right here was Hamilton Bowl, the Dust Bowl. I don't know how many of you guys remember that. But I played baseball down here. This was a baseball field. And Dee's vision, when we had the meeting and we all came together, was it at the hangar, D? Yes. Yeah. At the hangar up the hill uh, with Snoop. And everybody was there. And Dee's vision of this, um, to bring a community together. Um, and it was a bigger vision. We just couldn't allocate the funds to make it happen, but we did our best. And when you're out here early in the morning, you see a lot of older people out here walking. Uh, when you're out here in the afternoon, you see soccer, you see football, you see rugby, you see all those different things. And D went 
above and beyond to make that happen like he's always done with everything in our community. Um, and he's went hard for the people, and he continues to go hard. I mean, we just got off the phone the other day about some stuff that we're trying to do and empower and, and, and bring back some, some things for the community. So I just want to say on, on my behalf and on my family and, and all the people that D have helped and served and uh, unselfishly went out of his way to give back. I, I love you for that, D, and I appreciate you. And this park being named after D is, I don't know who else we could have named it after. I mean, just out of respect for what he's done. And he deserves so much more. <laughs> Al, you behind him. You behind him. You following this. You're doing a lot, man. Like, we appreciate what you're doing as well. You and Day, you guys do a lot. All right? I just want to say, like, let's continue to be encouraged, continue to help, continue doing what you're doing for our community. We're losing a lot, and we need to, we need to keep what we got in Long Beach in Long Beach. All right. All right? We need to keep what we got in Long Beach. Whenever I go across the country and I say Long Beach, people perk up, and they know what that means. It's a special place, not only in sports, but, but the diversity and the people that come from here. We're different. We're totally different, okay? So continue to support our city, keep our kids here in our city, keep our resources, our businesses, and support one another, all right? We at war <laughs> in a lot of ways, in a lot of ways. So we need to continue to come together, and we need more people like Dee and all you guys that's out here that I know that give back and put other people and other things before yourselves, and you're unselfish. So I appreciate all you guys have done for me and for what we're trying to do for these kids and our community. But D, we love you, man, and it ain't nobody else we could have put name on this park but you. All right, thank you, man. Okay. We have uh, one more speaker before we hear from D himself. I would like to call up former USC uh, director of track and field and Long Beach Poly track coach, Ron Ellis. I won't be redundant about uh, these accolades. I'll just say something to those people who follow history and the tradition of this city. Uh, his impact during his era changed the attention and the celebrity of the athletes that have come after. There's all the statistics about the number of NFL players and so forth that have come out of Poly and so on. Dur during Dee's time, his time at the threshold and in front of the stage changed where Polly was going, and remember after what he did at Polly, and CIF and state championships and so on, was he went to Long Beach City. He stayed local, just like we're talking about here. They won two Junior Rose Bowls, and then he stayed at home and went to Long Beach State. And everybody uh, who knows a little bit about Long Beach State, since we're a lot of graduates here, including the mayor, uh, that was a time that we went from Division II to Division I. And the reason that happened is because during that transition, this gentleman right here was an impact, changed the perception of every place he competed, not in one sport, but in two. And naturally, I have a preference for the number two. <laughs> OK? So I will just say this. Um, I recall, and that it was mentioned here about how Long Beach is special and how the people that affect the young people, and you now have a facility that was used before. Yes, it was used for softball and so on. What you don't know is when Dee and I were very, very young, we thought this is where you make a raft and float. <laughs> yes, that's a long time ago. Uh, and I will say this, too. Uh, 
the impact athletically and then to take the responsibility of giving back to the community because I believe that's what all of us should do. He was able to package what you see out there. And the other more important thing is, yeah, there's a track, there's fields and everything else, but there's lights out here. That means you can come here any time of the day or night and participate in your activity or your sport. Now, what you don't know, during COVID, every track and field facility had a padlock on it. There was only one facility in all of Southern California where you could continue to pursue your dream. Out of the group that trained here in the middle of COVID, because most of the Olympians traveled out of the state to Nevada, to Arizona to train. Those who had to stay rather than running on the streets came here and out of that group, there were two gold medals of people who trained right here. Okay. And back to him as an athlete, I told you the impact he had at all three levels. And for those who keep statistics, and they talk about, well, you can't compare one era with the other, look at some record boards. Look at some of those record boards that still sit today at Poly, at Long Beach City, and at Long Beach State. That's the kind of impact he had as an athlete. And then he came back and gave back over three terms. And you know, one of the teammates that he had during his time, and I was fortunate to be one of them, is sitting up here in the front row. And a lot of those teammates that were part of turning Long Beach State from Division II to Division I is a gentleman that soon as I went to Poly as a coach, and soon as I went to Long Beach City as a coach, and if I could have taken him to the next level up on Figaro, I would have done that too. He taught at every middle school, this community, every high school, every junior college, and Long Beach State, his coaching career, and a teammate of Mr. Andrews is a gentleman sitting right over here, Jim Richardson. Impact on youth in this community. They told me I had two minutes. I exceeded it. It's a pleasure to have somebody honored for what he's accomplished. Let's give it up for the man himself, DeAndrews. Woo! All right, first of all, I want to tell my friends out here, it's free. Hell, you can come in. You can come in. You ain't got to, come on, it's, they just, damn, it's free, brothers. I, I don't charge you for nothing, come on. But you guys really, seriously, and starting this out, usually I have a speechwriter, her name is Isabel, but the hell, I didn't need her today. Hell, I ain't in office, who cares? But as we go along, I, I knew somehow, some way, one day, that I would get something from the city. I really, really thought it would be something, you know, like, I, I thought something, you know, bigger. But then, <laughs> but then again, I told my wife, I said, you know what, I, I know they probably go name the damn city after me, but that's too small. I, I said, it's just too small. So what they did, they named the field after me. And this is something that I never, ever will ever forget. Ron left a lot of things out about me, you guys over there. Hell, I was a hell of an athlete, you know, but that's neither here nor there. But before I get started, I want my family to come up here. I got night. Just come up here. You guys been standing too. Come on up here. This is my family. If they learned how to vote, I would have won my election. Get on up here. <laughs> uh, 
Man, you, you can't vote. You live. Come on, now. You can't vote. You got to come up. You coming up? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now, now this is, now this is my family. Now you, you just take a look. Now, yeah, that's the point. <laughs> so now, if you kind of look around, I was very blessed to have nothing but girls. <laughs> And that way, you don't have to worry about no problems. Because hell, whether they can run or not, I ain't going to worry about it. Whether you win or not, because they girls, they don't like to run. My girls are all geniuses. They like to right. deal with numbers. That's <laughs> what I like about them. They can count. But moving on from there, this is my family. They from, you know, and it's so wonderful, you guys, for them to come out and support me. That's a hell of a lot of votes. Just look around. Yeah. But, <laughs> but I think they was tired of dad being here calling and wanting to do things. But you know, you guys, this is an extreme big honor for me today, because I'm just letting you guys know. The Poly High School individuals, my son-in-law, Mrs. Irvin, you guys, when I talk about Polly, I talk about my life because that's what Polly was to me. And you know, it, it all started really right out here on this pl little mud bowl field, we call it dust bowl. But well, you know, from elementary, middle school, you know, I remember when individuals had to cut their lights on and offer them to play soccer. But individuals that you guys would not ever, ever probably don't even know nothing about, you know, Bob Bailey, Tom Sears, you know, these are professional individuals who played right out here. You guys, we've come a long, long ways. And when I think about this, I call this the ambassador bowl, the ambassador bowl, because every nationality comes here and participates. This is what so, this is what I loved about Long Beach because that's just the kind of person I am. I, I, I never looked at color, I never thought about that. But what I do think about is that when we come to this time in our lives, we have to really learn how to love each other. You know, just reach out. And uh, that's what I've done. <laughs> so I, <laughs> yeah, you know, the seed I planted has been pretty good. But boys, men, get me some boys. Damn, girls, can I get some boys? You know, this, <laughs> you know, I like, yeah. I got, I, I, got, I got three. Okay, well, okay. But other than that, you guys really should say, I am so thankful and proud to be honored here today because the fact that this is something I never ever kind of, Al told me about it, Willie told me about it, we talked about it, but hell, you got to be dead to get this. And I ain't, I just ain't going to die right now. I <laughs> So you can't come and memorize me. You got to sit out here and idolize me because I'm here today to talk about something I love so much and been a part of. Now, see, this is not me as a politician in that damn diocese. You know, I never said nothing because I didn't want to say nothing. Only when, you know, when I, when I think about Steve Goodland, I, I love because I can talk about him because he's the only thing that makes the city lights up. You know, I had a man, we would laugh and joke, and he said, what'd it be like? He decided, I got, I got him to start talking black. What'd it be like? <laughs> and that's kind of strange for a Latino, you know, a Spaniard to start talking like that, but that's just the way it goes. We did things a lot of people would never think about doing. But you guys, we've come a long ways. I'm going to make this short because we're leaving and going to a, a big party after this. And, uh, you know, we're just going to have a beautiful time watching SC beat UCLA. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. But other than that, you know, all the others, I just want to thank all those individuals. Sonny, I thank you for coming. I'll be there. You know I will. But I know it costs money you guys to go to a <laughs> Mine is free, but you got to come, you know. But all the rest of the individuals, and especially my Cambodian, you know, my Cambodian constituents, you guys really, sister, I love you because I was the ones who really started out with the first group of Cambodians here from, you know, Anampir. I was the one who started teaching them. Hell, that's why I speak Khmer. Chomit up soul. Oh, hell, that's just a few words. But whatever it is, you guys, I still want to let everyone of you guys know, thank you guys so much for coming out and being a part of this beautiful, beautiful day. And all the ones that didn't make it, shame on them. <laughs> Because this is not going to happen again. You know, so this, this is it. The field will not be chopped up and make high rides. This is it for us. You guys, thank you guys again for coming out. Love all of you. Mel, tell you, Mel Collins, one of my best friends, he told me he was flying to Oregon and he made his pilot turn around to come to this. Thank you, Mel, for coming out today, big guy. Love you guys. Richardson, you know I love you. This is my.
this is my brother right here. So it's going to be okay, and I love all that. And Miss Sparker, you know, this is what she had a graduation. I was, that's, that's we did it all here. <laughs> so there's so much, and all the individuals, Mom, I love you. Never miss a day of council meeting. Hell, you was there more than I was. But, <laughs> but you was there. I love you for that. And Shania, I know he's running somewhere. That's a damn little ambassador. This little guy here, he'll end up being mayor or something. I don't know. But he's tough. Love you guys. My family, you can know I love you guys. And uh, don't be asking me for nothing but Christmas. Look around. <laughs> all right. Thank you guys again. All right. And, and you know my wife, she's all, baby, I'm going to say your name. I'm saying Lefty. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah you know I'm going to talk about my wife because, you know, I can't go home if I don't. But, hey, I, one, of my, one of my friends, we call, hey, this is what we call him, Ackerson, Mr. Ackerson. He's here today, and I want to thank him so much for coming out because he said he couldn't. I, I told him I would take him to the game. I said, man, we got seats for you. I, I can't climb, and my little granddaughters know I'm not going to climb to the top anymore. <laughs> so, hell, time catches up with you. You know, I'm not just getting old. I'm just getting better. That's just the size of it. So y'all got to understand that. Mr. Andrews is 81, and I feel like I'm 21. But don't trust. Don't test me. Okay. Don't be tested me, because I will go in the field. You know I will, just to look at it. <laughs> but again, you guys, I love all our players, you guys. We go into the CIF finals. Yeah. We going to win it. That, that's a given. That's a given. Yeah. So other than that, Chief, I'm so happy. You know, I was thinking about going into, you know, police. Uh, but hell, I thought about it. And I'd like to maybe one day be a chief, but not as a policeman. I want to just be the chief of my tribe. And here it is right here. And this is the tribe I'm the chief of. And they know it is. So I love you guys. And uh, God bless all of you. Thank you guys for coming out. You know, really, I really love all of you. So if I didn't call you a name or mention your name, maybe I'll do it next time. Next 20 years from now, I'll talk about you. But other than that, I love every one of you guys. Have a blessed day, every one of you. Okay? Yeah.